Um, I want to talk about the work. Okay. Yeah, I, I've seen um, basketball training videos on YouTube, and they're they look like a lot of work. It, it the obsession that you guys have in order to put a ball in a hoop is incredible. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's absolutely insane, almost spiritual like. Yeah. Uh, just talk about the work and how you can transfer it in your mind and it isn't work it's just routine how do you go through that process i think like the two words you use like obsession and and spiritual are like kind of like what i build off of from it because at a young age i think it's like meditation for me like being by myself for hours at a gym my dad would drop me off at like on a summer day at like nine o'clock at cgc then he'd come pick me up at 4 30 after work like that was I was like 12 years old doing that, like every day, just shooting, 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 shooting. And just, I fell in love with it. Like, it's just, it's peace to me, you know, just being in the gym by myself, like at the math, I'd be like one in the morning, just shooting on the gun. Like there's this like machine where I couldn't sleep and I'd just go shoot, just rep it out. And now I get to the point where I'm hitting 95, 96 out of a hundred from three. And like, I'm just, you're in that zone. Like you're like, you're so in the moment. And that's where that spiritual this comes from like i feel like people meditate to find that that zone where you're just like you're so in the now and like when that happens during the game that's when like that's when you explode for 50 you explode you know like the net is your your body completely takes over and you're just wow you're in the moment like and that's what like katie talks about that like blackout blackout zone or whatever like yeah it's it's what i chase (laughs) one in the morning you're, you're shooting oh for sure yeah anytime like if i couldn't sleep like that when when you said if it is it tough even at that age, I was lucky because I had, I lived with a teacher and he had a key to the gym. So like, if I didn't sleep, like I always had the key, like I'd be up all night, I'd be like, oh, and I would just go shoot it out, go to one to like two, three in the morning, come back, sleep. Then I'd be, I'd wake up, go to class, I'd be asleep in class because I was up shooting all night. Yeah. But, yeah. Is there ever any like doubt in your mind? Is, you know, the, the uh, sports that did a great bit on you. Um, um, I forget his name, Arash Madani did on you and you the first Nova Scotian to play in the NBA. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that's ever a goal of yours. I'm sure it is, 100%. but are you ever shooting at one in the morning and go, ah, I'm not, it's like, I don't know, Nova Scotian. I don't know if I'm going to, is, is there any ever doubt or do you just not even focus on it and just go, you know what, I, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Yeah. It's, it's, a. Uh... It's like an interesting balance because the belief is always there. Like, that's why I do what I do. Like, that's why I would do those long days, those long nights, because it means something to me. And I know I can get to where I was like when I was 15 and no one believed in me except for my family, you know, but no one thought like, okay, he's going to the NBA. Like he's just a small kid from Nova Scotia. Like in my head, I'm like, no, fuck that. Like I am going to the NBA. Like no doubt in my mind, I'm going to the NBA. Like I might not be confident in different things like that, but that belief is always there. So yeah, the work was always intentional to get to where I am now. And like, it's going to, like right now, like I think I could be NBA all-star. Like that's where my head is at. You know what I'm saying? So the work that I'm doing now is to get to that point. Yeah. So, yeah. 